Yay! Are we recording right now? Yes. yes. External talk. Bulb Podcast number eight. Do we have to start it like every time like we wonder if we record even though I just clicked the button? Well, no, that's recording. only because William says that. Well, so does Austin, but you know. I'm a boss. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Joseph. I'm William. No, you're not. Oh. This is External Bulb. Okay. So, we too of being in the park and recording audio. Uh, it, I mean, the other place was better because there wasn't a fucking road right behind it. Yeah, but, you know, It should people. be too loud if we're louder. <laughs> if we're <laughs> loud. I'll we deal with it. We could have sat over there where that guy was, where that yeah. guy is, honestly. Or we could have sat over there. We could have sat a bunch of places. Fuck. Damn. We could have sat in should the we park. Move? We should sit in the, in the middle I of the middle. I think we should forest. move. I think we really should because let's do more. <laughs> yeah, so we just spent 10 minutes walking around to find a new spot, and we ended up back where we started. Wow. It would have been quicker if we just drove around again to see if those guys left. That's true. Let's not do that, though. Let's not do that. It's too late. We've already walked so we, far. We've gone going. too far. We've gone too far. No, no going back. Actually, we went, like, what, a few We few probably yards. walked, like, 200 meters or 200 feet and then came back. Yeah. So it's 400 feet. I don't think anybody cares, though. <laughs> no, they give a shit. They're just like, shut they the fuck up and start being... They don't care about our pain. They're like, shut the fuck up and start being funny. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, we're funny now? <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know. Maybe? Are we? You guys yeah, tell I, us if we're funny, fuck. I, I don't know. I think it's more like, for, if there was like, just shut the fuck up and start talking. I need yeah. something to distract me from That's probably life. what it is. They probably just like, you guys aren't hilarious, but you know, you, t- you fill the time. I mean, uh, I guess the first thing we should talk about is this podcast comes out every Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah. After 12 p.m., usually. Damn. Sometimes Usually. it'll come out earlier, but it's definitely every Friday before 12 a.m. Saturday. Uh, I mean, get that out of the fucking way. Right, and the movie thing, the movie things that we're doing, it's like, there's no set There's no, set, there's no set schedule for how bad could it be. There, usually it should come out once a week, but sometimes I get to Yeah, it, it depends on our schedules, because really. Because watching a two-hour movie takes forever. Yeah, podcasts are easier to do for us, but the movie thing, that takes but a little no, more. But nobody cares about it. Nobody cares. So I finished my book about Sweden. Oh, but should we we should talk about Austin first? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Austin has decided to uh, not do the podcast anymore, but he is free to come back whenever he wants and do the podcast again if he if he so desires. If so. he so desires. <laughs> That's all I guess I'm gonna say about it. What the fuck is up with his knee? He has a fucked up knee. That looks so weird. I don't know, man. It's, it was probably just pretty quick, but yeah. it's, that's the usual comment. I almost thought they stole your car. I was about to be like, wow. That's that was the smoothest car stealing I've ever seen. I mean, that doesn't even look like No, that. I thought it was because I didn't pay attention at first. Okay. I was like, oh my god, they did it so smoothly. <laughs> like, damn. What was I saying? I was saying, oh, I finished my book about Sweden. That's what I did. So I, fin- I finished my book about Sweden. Mm-hmm. My sister hands me another book. She's like, you should read this book. I was like, it's a World War II novel about Jews in uh, a place. So I started reading it. I'm like, wait, are they speaking Danish? No. No, it's a book about Denmark. I just finished Sweden. I don't want to read about Denmark. I'll be read about Denmark. So Denmark is literally... You can see Sweden from Denmark if you go to the harbor. I was really hoping you were going to say Denmark is literally worse than Hitler. <laughs> I was really hoping no. that was going to happen. No, I mean, I was reading the book and I was just like, damn it. I'm reading another book about a Scandinavian country. I didn't, I didn't plan for this. Mm-hmm. I've been reading about Blackbeard, though. Fucking amazing. So, Blackbeard literally goes into port, right? He goes into whatever port, port and starts having friends who are female. Okay, okay so he, he, he fucks the hoes. He fucks the hoes, but then he finds a specific hoe he likes more than mo- uh, any of the other hoes. It's like, all of you are 910. You are 1010. Basically. Basically. And Basically. what he does is he falls in love with that hoe. Woohoo! That hoe he then marries. Why would you marry And then hoe? leaves port. Why would you marry a hoe? Wait, in the, it, uh, he one, leaves port. One day, like, on the one day. He marries her on the boat on the Queen Anne's Revenge, and then he leaves. That's it. So wait, he's like, okay, so he, 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 he's on a ship. He comes in all pimping and he's like, "Hey, give me, bring me all the hoes, right?" Yeah. And then, and then he's like, "You hoe, I'm gonna marry you right now, this day." Mm-hmm. And then he takes, he marries that hoe on the boat. Then they leave. No, they don't leave immediately after, but eventually he leaves. Did he get her pregnant with Star Lord? <laughs> oh, wh- Who? What? What? You Who? don't know that story? No, I mean like. Who? <laughs> Never mind. Do you not know Star Lord's background? No, not that. Story. <laughs> Do you? Or I no? still don't even know who his father is. So I'm just, I'm just his like, father's a king. Okay. In a galactic, uh, on a planet far, far away. He's a, he, he's a huge dick. Why would, why would the Super king spoilers. go to Earth? Huh? Why would the king go to Earth? Um, his plane crashed, well, his ship crashed while he was a prince, and he met his mom, and then they got together, and while he was fixing the ship, they fell in love, and they and then he left, and then she found out she was pregnant. 
So yeah. did she die of cancer because of he fucked her? Or it was it an alien disease or something like that? So cancer is an alien disease? Sure. I don't know. I mean, it looked like she died of cancer. You know, she did die of cancer. Oh, okay. Alien cancer. Alien cancer. Fucking alien cancer, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> fucking alien cancer. <laughs> fucking alien cancer. The fucking innuendo. God damn it. <laughs> I'm amazed with the aliens visiting the Earth. There's no new diseases on that planet. No, I mean, as soon as an alien will visit Earth, we're all dead from disease. I mean, do you, do you remember what happened to the Native Americans when, when the fucking Pretty Eastern mean, World, or what, no, Western like, world I'm, I'm just remember well, Maybe that's like, the thing, like, if, if aliens had visited Earth already, we've already become immune to most diseases that they have. Wait, what that we think are not, that we think, think are, like, common think, on Earth. Do you think they're coming down, like, slowly releasing, like, one disease at a time and then leaving? God damn They've it. been doing it for years, like, Ebola. Oh, wait, Ebola. Yeah, Ebola. <laughs> Wrong one. Ebola. Ebola is not a thing. It's Ebola. Ebola. I know. Ebola. I know. I just get for whatever reason. They I come down. Ebola. They make a new. <laughs> that's this plur- is called Ebola. <laughs> that's the plural version. Ebola. Apartheid. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> the aliens brought apartheid. Racism is a disease, man. It's been confirmed now. Eliminate all the racists. Racism is a disease. That's and it. I am Ow. the cure. I just want to that, pick at it. That, that's it. I'm. I'm gonna. St- I'm gonna start an uprising. Take over the government. And start slaughtering everybody. Pick at scabs. What does that mean? What. What did? What, why did you say that? For what does what? that mean? To, to eliminate racism. Oh, I mean, kill all the races. Racism's gone. <laughs> can I? God. Should I go with that? Is that all right? If you oh, moral... if, if you kill every race except for one, racism's gone. We'll just find, we'll just pick out something like so, something new to, to make like to to hate. Yeah, animals. like classism. Or, classism. Or classism. People who like animals, like puppies. And kittens. <laughs> and various rodents. Fucking kitten lovers. And various rodents. Damn it, I made myself bleed. You're bleeding now. Good job. And we're in a park and we're outside. Keep on bleeding, love. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, yeah, I, really shouldn't shouldn't do that. that. I really shouldn't. You're just going to be like, enough. disease. <laughs> I just Give me your fucking alien cancer. Can we cancer. talk about Guardians of the Galaxy? Can, can you imagine? We can. can but we? Yeah, no, we it's not two weeks, right? It's I don't give a shit. We'll do it after No, but I'm just like... I, like, I'm picking up my scout. Can you imagine going up to an alien, you pick your scout, like, you rub it all over their face. <laughs> and just kill them like that, like, <laughs> slowly. Like, they shoot you in the chest, you're bleeding out, and then eventually they're like, <laughs> oh, oh. For whatever reason, oh. they're choking on the dick. Oh, my God, these assholes. No, but you know, um... No, but they're on real bikes. Oh, no, those are still the same kids. Yeah. No, but you know, um... One thing you could do is, like, if some alien kills you, right, the, your best revenge is to take your blood and throw it in their face. <laughs> they start burning. I mean, I'm melting. I'm melting. Oh, what a world! What a world! <laughs> that fucking chick, she's amazing. Wait, that fucking chick or that fucking chick? The fucking chick. Okay. Wait, wait, you fuck chickens? Whoa, whoa, well, what the fuck? Why not? The fuck? Peta's gonna come in right now and shoot you in the face. <laughs> Peta. Oh my god, fucking. I, I mean, I've watched like one video where of uh, the CEO of Peta or whatever doing a speech, and she was like, um, slavery hasn't left, whatever, today's world, and she was like, there's still slavery for animals, I was like, you do know that there's still slavery in the world, like, it hasn't completely gone yet. <sighs> so dumb. Oh, you know mm-hmm. a story I want to share? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not my story, but it's Raphael's story. Mm-hmm. He's on this dating site that I'm, that, uh, you know, that. Oh, that, oh are you talking about the, the, yeah, the yeah. feminist? Yeah, yeah, the feminist. This girl, like, well, she, more, she more, messages wait. him first. Okay, we should more, more, let's say, that's not feminist, but more feminazi. Yeah, Is but it it's, <laughs> Anyway, so this girl messages him first saying, she's, and the first thing she says is, are you a feminist? Why or why not? That's the first thing. I'm not even like, hi, how, what's up? Can I get time. to know you? Could, where's my it's James like, Bond ejection? And then he's like, and then he's like. <laughs> And he and he says, "I was like, okay, hi." And you know, they start ta- getting into it. Just, and he says, "Like, why would he continue talking to this person? Like, after that intro?" It was, I don't know. He's like, but then she starts going on him, no. saying he's not a feminist because he's like, he's saying he he's not against it, but he doesn't like actively support it. You know, he's not one of those people who's feel, outgoing for it. I feel him. I would I would continue the conversation just to see where it takes me, but then I immediately eject at certain like no, trigger I words. Mean, for me, <laughs> when you trigger. Uh, you know, he should have been like that. It's like, it's like your feminism triggers me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, oh, I would have continued the conversation just, just to, just to, to just. To I would have fucked with just the person. I would have fucked Fuck with the person. person just to laugh. But um, anyway, like that. Uh, he kept talking to her, and she, 
And he was saying like he wasn't actively supporting it, but he he does he does like think it's a good idea, you know, and everything. Mm-hmm. But then she starts saying like how he's not supporting it by not doing anything, and, and that he's against feminism somehow. I wish he and took screenshots. I would like to see this conversation. I know the way. He, oh God, he he she was awful because um, he said he doesn't do anything, but he doesn't really care so much as to try to take an active role in it. And she's like, wow. He's like, you're so lazy at this and everything, and that um. It's like the fact that it's like if you have any female friends, you should apologize to all of them for what you're saying right now. And it's just like so awful. I'm just like I'll apologize to your parents, bitch. <laughs> oh god. Really? He was just like so against listen, it. He was like busting his balls for it. I'm listen, just like, no. I mean, we're none of us here are against feminism. We're just against super feminism. <laughs> no, the feminazis. The feminazis. Yeah. That's what we're against. Oh my god. It's it's just too much. Oh, and she guy. was saying how he was exerting his male power by not doing to anything. To exert our dominance. The patriarchy, man. Yeah, the patriarchy. Fucking hell. Patriarchy are Illuminati. How about that? That's how, they, that's how it seems to me. Yeah. With the feminazis. They, every, everything they see, it's, it's like with, the, with people in the Illuminati. You know? Yep. Yeah, I can see a triangle right here, right? For them, it could be like the patriarchy. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> You guys put yourself at top. <laughs> so I created a subreddit that didn't need to be created the other day. So you, you mean first? Uh, first no, no, not that. No, that needed. That needs to be. There. Nobody does shit on there. Listen, oh yeah, guys, listen, because visit, visit r slash um, antichrist on Reddit. First, first world, world antichrist. Oh first world antichrist. Whatever. So what happened was I created a subreddit for custom uh, cover art for like video games and other things that use box art and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And apparently there had already been one created, and I didn't know because I. <laughs> It's called custom <laughs> covers, but mine was called alternative cover art, because that's what I would have looked up if I was ever looking so for a subreddit. So did you delete right? the subreddit? No, you can't delete subreddits. What? So, oh, it's so, there forever. No, no. But what I what I'm going to do eventually is just put a link to custom covers because that's way more popular. So I'll be like, mm-hmm. if you come here for whatever reason, like if you if you're looking up a subreddit for custom cover, cover art or whatever, then you just go there and then you can go to custom covers mm-hmm. and do that. You, I mean, they have you, a pretty cool subreddit. You should just began that subreddit as a way to undermine custom covers. No, like, join me, good. join me, don't join them, join me. It's like, they're, they're full of no, shit. No, I should have been. I we been, have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been a Palpatine and then Palpatine. Start, worked there, got my way up, taken over, and then <laughs> destroyed it and taken and used the other side to get up. This is how liberty dies, with various upvotes. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm William, I need to tell you something. He's gay. Damn. I'm the father. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to let that conversation continue, but I think that's as good as it's going to get. So, you you know the video, even now, the evil seed of what you've done, Germany. Yeah, Germany. yeah. You know that video. Yeah. I found the movie. <laughs> I found the movie. I watched the movie. And you're never going to believe who directed it and who's in it. Yeah. What? Guess who directed it? Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. You're Michael close. Nope. No. No. George Lucas. Nope. Uh, Rob Schneider. No. Uh, Brad Bird. No. Wes Anderson. Mm. Okay, before we continue. Wes Anderson. There's this video on YouTube. If you look up even now the evil seed of what you've done, there's this video of this loaf of bread coming out of this oven, and it says in this really deep, legendary voice of evilness, even now, the evil seed of what you've done. Thanks, asshole germinates within you so <laughs> look up that video and you'll understand what we're talking about so now we found the movie the movie is called legend oh and it's by ridley scott <laughs> it's okay. and the main protagonist and the main protagonist is portrayed by none other than tom cruise I watched an hour and 50... Was it two hour long movie? It was a two hour long movie for one joke. For a 30 second joke on YouTube. Yeah. The movie was pretty bad too. It's, no, it, I, I'm not going to go far and say that. It's actually pretty good. We should watch it. Yeah, we should absolutely watch it. It's not super... Next it's, not it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just... It's, it's kind of a drag to watch. Like for certain scenes that are really good, there's like so many other scenes that are really like, oh, come on, just get through this like come on hurry up finish but maybe maybe that's the problem because i'd seen that video on youtube and i was waiting for the line to happen the entire movie 
Is that an attractive person? I can't tell from here. Rich Where? Is that a guy or a girl? I can't tell from here. All I see is butt. That's Where? a guy. Damn it. Red shorts? Short short hair, yeah. Red shorts. Damn. Short hair. Where? I can't see from here. All I saw was shorts. Like, it's yeah, too no. late. But what happens is the movie is actually pretty... It has some re- There's one we scene that's fucking that. amazing. We should not include that conversation in there. <laughs> it's too late. It's going to definitely be in there. I mean, we've included Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. We should talk about that, by the way. Oh, my Stop. God. But anyway, we'll Stop. go back. We'll, we'll continue with So, Chris. the movie itself is, it has some really good scenes, but it has some really, like, just really dragged on scenes where it's like, come on. Yeah, so, shut up. Just so, go. So, they beat the, so they, they're beating a dead horse at those scenes or what? You, funny enough, uh, the movie's about unicorns, so. <laughs> <laughs> it has some really great cinema. Okay, okay, wait. And so more. it's it's there's bread, then there's no the b- bread is from the other video. The voice is what I'm talking about. The voice. Even now, the evil seed of what you've done. That's where it's from. Oh wait, that's not. Oh, so that scene's not from. I know that. Wait, is is that the one with the freaking devil? Yeah, guy? it's the giant. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes, I so remember that's that. So that yes. bre- the bread, the bread isn't actually in that movie. No, no, oh. no, no, no. I thought you were talking about the bread. The for bread a second. is from something else. That's from whatever oh the God. Jesus died for your donuts thing. Jesus died for your donuts, man. Jesus that's where that's from. Donuts. The voice is from the. So is donut a sin? <laughs> is a donut a sin? Yeah. yeah Damn. Donut's a sin. Oh, gluttony. Yeah. Do not. <laughs> but oh my god I remember that movie yeah that movie oh my god if you watch it again uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about like obviously I assume you watch it when you were a kid right? yeah I saw it when so, I was a kid uh, he never seen it but I saw it but what happens is you watch it and as a kid I can assume that it's a great film like you know you watch it you're like stuck for two hours watching this amazing film but Ridley Scott directed that yeah Ridley Scott directed <laughs> that but later on you're just like this movie there's so many dragged on scenes like scenes that should have just been cut was it like Ridley Scott's first attempt I don't know I didn't, I didn't check but but the, if if you re- if you've seen it, then you remember that scene where she's uh she's in the lair mm-hmm. and there's that dancing black object that's that is the uh. greatest <laughs> scene of all time. I that is my favorite scene in the entire movie. That is the best scene in the entire movie. Watching that movie for two hours or whatever, however long it was, mm-hmm. it will we're worth it for that scene. That scene was fucking amazing. Is it better than the, than the entirety of Miami Connection? Basically, <laughs> like that scene makes up for the entire movie. That and the. Even now, scene. Of course, of course. I was. <laughs> well, well, like, wasn't um, in the end of the movie? Wasn't the devil essentially put put into the Phantom Zone? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I remember that. Now. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is that scene building up to even now the video, the voice building up to that scene, just he starts the camera comes down and it lowers itself and then he gets bigger and bigger and now you can see his voice like he's gonna need to, like. I was so giddy when I got when he actually said the line. Like I almost came when he said the line. <laughs> I was there was so much build up. There was so much build up. It was just like like uh, you kill you took the unicorn. You brought it here. Even now, the evil seed of what you've done. And I just like oh yes, he said the line. I ran into my sister's room and I showed her because she's also seen the thing. Oh my god, that was amazing. So bad. It's amazing. That's so bad. Just a, what's with you? Okay, that's going to be in the podcast. Apparently. Right? Everyone's going to wonder where that sound came from. You guys remember when I said sorry to a wall? <laughs> that was so stupid. That was so dumb. <laughs> so, was no there, you so, so, so we were recording audio for a project we're working on, and I, <laughs> I was getting up to do a line to show William how to do a specific line. And I'm, I'm walking backwards to portray the line, just walking around the room, and I walk into a wall. And I turned to the wall, I said, sorry, and then I walked away. <laughs> Can someone animate that, please? I just want I just want to see myself do that again, because that was my favorite thing I did all day. I think I'll draw it out first. Maybe that's what I'll do. I turned to the wall, I just, like, sorried in its ear. I was like, I'm sorry. In its bumped, ear? Yeah, it's in its ear. Wilson, oh, they're I'm doing sorry. heroin. Oh, sorry, no, marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah, it's a bo- heroin, that's a bong. Dude. I didn't notice that at first. Get not not the finish. people here in this park. There's probably somebody doing marijuana in the park, but in the, the forest park. In the picture that Joseph has as his wallpaper, people are doing marijuana. Well, Deadpool and Spider-Man are doing marijuana. Dead, Deadpool and Spider-Man. Because they're BFFs. <laughs> but anyway, um, I could see that. No, they no. They, Spider-Man doesn't really like Deadpool, but Deadpool's kind of oh. like he, Deadpool kind of is okay with Spider-Man. They're 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 like oh they're kind of like at ends because you know Deadpool's a merc. 
And Spider-Man doesn't want to kill people. Yeah. But I guess they're okay. That's Spider- really Deadpool's kind of like Deadpool's on shaky ground of every one of the Marvel characters. Yeah, he's he does nobody likes him, right? Kind of. Who what? Because Deadpool. De- De- Deadpool can be a good guy, but he's he's kind of insane. Yeah. And he likes to kill people. Yeah. And with, I mean, he's killed everybody he's in, in the Marvel universe, right? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, but that was just like. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, that was a thing. Deadpool also killed Deadpool because you didn't know. <laughs> I think I've heard of that. Mm. So it's, it's been the same thing. So the other day there was this wasp in my room. I was going to take a nap, and uh, I. I close my eyes for a millisecond and I open my eyes to do something on my phone or whatever and I see there's a fly just flying around my room I'm like it's a fly I don't care but then I saw the beady eyes and the very thin wings and the yellow and black stripes of a wasp wait no is that a hornet or a wasp <laughs> no he doesn't know he's just contemplating life I don't remember so it flies around my room I'm like fuck I can't sleep with that shit in my room. If it was a fly, I'd be okay with it. But if it's a fucking wasp or a hornet or something, I'd be fucked. So I decided I'm going to get up and I'm going to fight this thing and I'm going to kill it. Why would you do that? Why? Okay, now I'm just looking around for a wasp in us, in mm-hmm. case. Are you, are you a dumbass? Listen, Why would you do listen, that? it was one wasp and it was one giant six foot tall human. All right? I think I'll be fine. No, no, you won't. So I, I go downstairs. Alive, so. I go downstairs. Yeah, I'm alive now. They, I was in coma for two weeks before this podcast. Wait, what? The hangout? How did we hang out yesterday? I don't remember. So, <laughs> what happens is... What happens is... What happened? What, what, what happened was... I go downstairs, I grab the fly swatter, I come back you should, up. You should tell the story in, in Michael Caine's voice. Just well, like that. I, I went downstairs, and I, I grabbed, I grabbed the, the fly swatter, and I, I come back up, and on my TV is the Hornet. You sound nothing like Michael Caine. You sound like my a little cocaine. British bitch. <laughs> Michael Caine's bitch? Is that what I sound like? You sound like Michael Caine's bitch. I am Michael Caine's bitch. Of course. (laughs) How could I never see this before? I'm Michael Caine's bitch. Michael Caine comes and is like, finally, you remember. He comes in, he's like, he's like, you remember. Get off. Get off. (laughs) And now we shall go visit the mansion, Mr. Wayne. Oh, God. (laughs) Would you like to check out my crotch unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, I don't know. You don't but remember? No. But Teddy's it... operation? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I go upstairs and I take the fly swatter and I'm like, all right, here we go. I think I stood in front of that hornet for 10 minutes without actually making a move. I was scared shitless of hitting that thing. We're just like... No, I would. If I missed, that thing would kill me. I would. My th- my throat would have been slit. Oh, so now it would have killed you. <laughs> you but before, it's like it's a t- it's an eight inch wasp or like two inch wasp against, against a six, six foot tall human. human. Now it doesn't matter. I get up there. I'm like I'm holding it. I'm ready. I'm like I'm gonna kill you. Fuck, I, you're I'll, six feet yeah. tall. You're not even six feet. I am six feet. You're tall. not six feet tall. You are not. <laughs> You are not. I, I never measured you. I don't look at me. Six foot tall. You're I, the one that's like five eleven. God damn it. He's not five eleven. Five, 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 whatever. Five ten, right? He's because five eight. Oh wow, really? I'm five six. You're, he's five eight. Then you're five fucking nine. You're yeah, not no. six. There's no way you're six feet tall. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely six feet tall. Eight, eight. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm absolutely. God damn it. Fuck six you. Feet. He's six fuck feet. You. I am six feet tall. Like, fuck you, six feet. God, God I feel short now. <laughs> So what happened was I, I'm standing there for 10 minutes just ready to hit the fly or the hornet or whatever it was. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you one chance to leave. I open the window and I'm like, all right, go. I don't want to do this because if I miss, you're going to slip my throat. <laughs> so I'll give you a second chance. Wouldn't just sting your throat instead? I give you a second chance to leave. <laughs> Shut up, William. <laughs> Please leave so I don't have to do this. I give you a third chance to leave. <laughs> Please leave so I don't have to do this. Eventually, my sister comes in. She's like, why are you yelling? <laughs> so, Wait, you were legitimately Yeah, I, I was saying this out loud to the wasp. And I'm like, or the hornet. We'll just call him Beb, all right? You're so I'm yelling at Beb. Beb. I'm yelling at Beb, and I'm like, fuck you. Get out of my house. Beb's looking right at me, and he's like, no, fuck you. Beb's like, you what, mate? Yeah. <laughs> fucking what, M9? <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, what happens is my sister's there, and I'm like, I'm ready to hit this thing. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I yell at the top of my lungs, and I smash Beb in the face. Beb is still alive, but what happens <laughs> what? is Beb, Beb is, is broken-winged and has twitchy legs. And I'm staring at it. I have, the only way I was able to hit Beb in the face was if I yelled at the top of my lungs and hit him. Like, 
I'm afraid of hitting anybody. I, I'm super so, passive. So you basically took the, took a lesson from one of those many high action kung fu action movies, right? <laughs> I feel like you this. Like, is, <gasps> yeah. I, feel, I feel like this is gonna be some huge character development where you and Beb stare at each other in the <laughs> eyes, and you're like, "I'm sorry, Beb, you ha- left me no choice." And Beb's like, "I know, but always remember in how last, we first met." In the last moment, of respect. I, I jumped up, like as you when you said car- karate movie or kung fu movie, I imagine myself jumping across the like the room with my leg like this, like in the middle of the air, like with a with a roundhouse <laughs> kick ready to go. <laughs> then you pulled back at the last second and punched it. Yeah, and I punched it. But what happened was I I, I was deadly afraid of touching Beb because. He's a fucking bug. I'm, I'm, I'm above this was, that. This was your first time. I'm above a bug, you asshole. That's why Loki wins. <laughs> Isn't this your natural state? <laughs> to be dead? <laughs> oh my God. So, Beb is sitting there twitching, and I'm like, I should put Beb out of his misery. So, I take a torch, and... Uh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I, have, I have a candle in my room, just for whenever, like, if I need it. Um, you could have just squished Beb. Listen, listen. I already squished Beb. He deserved better than that. Then why'd you do it in the first place? So you're giving him a funeral fire. <laughs> so what happened was, I took out the thing. I, I, we were selling our house, so I have like this thing in my room to light whenever people come over. So just every the room smells like every other room. Uh, and so what happens is, I'm getting ready to torch Beb, but I feel really bad. I'm like, I can't torch Beb. So I put him inside a tissue, but I'm really afraid to touch Beb. Because I'm not sure if he's still dead. Because his legs at this point have stopped twitching. And I'm like, I'm going to move you into this napkin. So I take Beb and I put him in the napkin. I put a napkin on top of that napkin and I put him. I roll him up like a tortilla. So what happens is I go downstairs. I go outside in the ba- in the backyard. Then I light Beb on fire. Beb the tortilla. Beb burns for about two minutes and then I put out the fire. But then he's still there. Like you could obviously tell that that's a fucking insect still there. So I, I'm like, all right, we need more fire. So I get t- twenty more tissues and I start. I r- wrap him tightly in it and I ball it up and I light that on fire. So Beb is now incinerated, and uh, the first time I did that, I, I the first time I burned. Beb, wait, wait, why did you, why did you suffocate it? He was already dead. What do you mean suffocated? No, I mean like, cause Beb, you're gonna light Beb on fire, and you still see the bug there because you fucked up the fire. Why did you wrap up Beb in the thing? Why didn't you just lay Beb in a pile of tissues and light that up? Then Beb would have definitely burned. Dude, I think this is. You. Well, it's too late. This well, is I know that's, that. That's me. Sure. Okay, so what happens is. is it looks nothing like it. I know, right? I mean, so it's what not happens Indian is, enough. What happens is, <laughs> what, what eventually I do is I decide, the first time I light Beb on fire, it doesn't work. I'm like, all right, I put out the fire, I, I dump, or I put out the ashes of the tissue paper, and I'm like, all right, that's d- dealt with. I dump water on it just in case. No fire. No arson. The arsonry happens. Put dirt on it. It would have been better. Yeah, that, that would have been better. Put second it time it happens. Food. Second time it happens. I, the ball is still there and it's like fully like it's crisp and it's still ashes and it's embers and I'm like all right well fuck that and I just smack it out of the way. It goes under my under my deck which is filled with leaves leaves that have been there for years upon years and I'm like I forgot to put out that fire before I put it, <laughs> or put out the embers before I put it under there. I sat there for 20 minutes making sure nothing caught on fire. I sat there I looked at it I looked under my deck and I'm like. Please don't catch on fire. Please don't catch on fire. We just sold our house. Jesus Christ, please. I get I get the hose, and I start watering down. Because you can't go under the deck, I water down the deck on top, hoping the water is going under where under the deck, where the embers still are. So bad. I, I, the deck was fully, like, wet just by the time, by the time, uh, I, I was just running around with the hose, just throwing water everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I whip my hose back and forth. I whip oh my, my hose back God. and forth. That sounds like an abusive thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> you get some hose. I whip my hose back. <laughs> hose don't mind. They ne- they never mind. They're not gimps, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. This has gone too long. This it gone hasn't. Too long. We're yeah. only 28 minutes in. I'm talking about his story. Plus, plus oh. a few minutes. His story's been like... Well, we need content for the podcast, so I was bringing content to the table. Exactly, man. I mean, what do you got to show for do it? Do you even have a red table? That's what I thought. Do you even have an external bulb? <laughs> Whatever, just keep... Just... I mean... What the fuck is that. an external bulb? Who knows? It's a bulb outside. No, no. It's a bulb that's... that's external. Yeah, but like, just take off that cover, it's external. Yeah, there you go. No. In the there, it's internal. But the bulb is not external. Is the bulb the, is internal. Is it the external bulb? So what's an external bulb? You hold out a bulb. Is it a bulb that's inside out? What well, is the bulb the actual shape of the the 
filament? Like it's because it's, so. it's the filament is inside the, the There's the filament, bulb. then the bulb surrounds so it. So the bulb is the bulb the shape or the entire thing combined? No, I the think bulb's I think the whole thing, I think. No, because the little screw thing is Because would you you would when so, when you draw something that's shaped like that, you'd say it's bulb shape, right? Yeah, so it's a bulb. So then it is a bulb. So what's an actual bulb? So what's an ex yeah, we gotta determine what a bulb is before we can talk about external bulbs. What the fuck are we even doing for ourselves if we don't even know what it is? <laughs> we don't know what our name of our podcast is. I mean, I would just think it's like, you know, you say external, um... It's like you look at... It's like we look at ourselves like, what am I? <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I don't think we know who we are anymore. We need you to go on a journey of existence. Like, we know what a red table... We need to find ourselves. We know what a red table is. It's just a table. It's just a, exactly, but what the fuck is an external bulb? Like, what the fuck did you have to come up with such complicated names? You know, now I think about it. What what exactly made people look at this and say this is a table? We don't believe in tables. Well, back it, it no, originated from other words like tableau used to be a thing, but no. that was never meant table for some reason. Octa non verba. But it's, oh wait, no, that's acta non verba. But it's like, I swear to God, it's like somebody somebody points at a tree. It's like tree, tree, and it's just listen, stuck. Listen, listen. It just stuck. The name just stuck. It's Nobody wild, ever wild. said tree. Shut Back in that... You know what I mean, damn it! 12,000 years ago, humans started civilization, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Nobody knows. Well, there's probably somebody who knows. I mean, what was the first language? It was uh, fucking... It was uh, gibberish. Le le uh, gibberish. Le legitimately, it's Latin, right? Legitimately, no, it it's was gibberish. not Latin. It's Latin. gibberish. It was, uh, what's it called? It was gibberish. Wasn't it? Why does that guy have a fucking lawnmower? It Why the was fuck does that guy have a lawnmower? Shut up. It's I want to know. Mower. That's why, but why are you having it at the park? You don't even look like you're just for a job He's to do. He's driving this. it around the park on the on the sidewalk of the park. He's not even on Dude, the grass. Can, can you can you imagine like he gets on the road? He he sits on top of the lawnmower. He's like vroom, vroom, and he starts driving off. <laughs> so what happens is that would be the greatest thing ever. Oh, I thought he was pointing to us, like he knew us. He's like you. Hey. No, so the original... imagine he watches our imagine he watches our videos, <laughs> no. and he's like, you guys, I know you. No, but uh, what's it called? Remember? I just left a lot more there. The, what? What do we call? What? He just left it there now. Oh, he's gonna keep. Walking. What do we call that place? You know, you know, in the Middle East, right? It used to be what's it called? The Middle East. No, no, back in eight hundred, eight thousand BC or whatever. I never lived in. What was it called? It was called something specific, right? In the Middle East, what like are we it was about? called. Um, Katakubaba. Met. Met. Metsa, Metsa. Mesopotamia. Yeah, Mesopotamia, right? That one. Mm -hmm. That's what it was called, right? Or is that is that someplace else? There's Mesopotamia. Pangea? No. Wait, are you, are you, I'm talking, are you, I'm talking are you, about the area. Are you, are, you, like, are you trying to like refer to like, uh, what do you call it? Gilgamesh and his... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's basically yeah. the time period. Is that Mesopotamia or is that something I believe else? that was Mesopotamia. Let me see. How many guys does this person know? Or <laughs> he's like, that guy's popular. Or did he call it Babylon or something like that? Well, that's, ba that's, it, a king, that's his like... Kingdom you know, of Babylon, yeah. Kingdom of Babylon, yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah, D yeah there's Sumerian, 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 yeah, Sumerian, Sumerian was the first stuff language. like that. Basically, that area and that language that was the first language. But mm -hmm. then, what did, where did Latin come in? Latin was way later. Way later? Yeah, way later, like 1700s. So Sumerian is the first right? official 16, language. It was like 1400s to 1700s. That was Latin. So Sumerian is the first official even language. Even earlier and Latin than that. Developed even earlier that. than that, because it, what I remember reading from my book about Sweden, uh, there's a Saint Brigetta or something like that. It's Are you saying we've been stupid for about more than one thousand years? We've been stupid for ten thousand years. Hmm. We should just stay the apes. Like I, I really don't think there's any point to being humans. <laughs> I so, mean, but then we don't. But then, but then space, we wouldn't. Man, your favorite thing. <laughs> but dude, then we wouldn't have a podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, read this point. So everybody fuck by your logic. Like, yeah. So what happens is uh, there was this chick called Brigetta, and she was like Saint Brigetta. She had like visions and shit like that of uh, Christ and people like that. Yeah. So she goes. Uh, she lives in Sweden for a while, and eventually they build a bunch of churches around her, and she goes to Rome. So and that was, I want to say, really early, like fucking before fourteen hundreds, because she went to Rome, and you know the Catholic church was around, so it has to be before. That or was the Catholic that. church like what was the Catholic church thing with Rome back then? The like, Pope I mean, and like all that, shit. that time? the Pope and every because what she did was she was going to see the Pope for uh her sainthood or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like she wanted to go get uh her scripts written about her official visions and things she had mm -hmm. seen. So she goes there, the Pope is doing something else, he's not in Rome or whatever, he's somewhere else, and she waits like 12 years for him to come back from wherever he's gone and finally gets her shit done. So that's all so I she, remember. She, about so that. she stays there twelve years in Rome. Yeah. Damn. Why are we talking about Rome now? 
So what apparently the Mass Effect apparently the Mass Effect director left Bioware. What? Yeah. What's his uh-huh. name? Uh, Clay, Casey, you know, Casey Hudson. Casey Hudson. He left it. Yeah, apparently. What? He's disappointed with Mass Effect Four. He didn't he? He did that entire video in E3. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which, we're again, okay. again, that video was bullshit. No, but still, he did it. He was like, you know, there. He's like, oh yeah, we're gonna do Mass Effect Four. We have a new IP. We're not gonna tell you any shit about that. Maybe but that's, that's why he so, left. <laughs> no, that's still. Are you guys not Im- surprised by this? This is a really big deal. I, I was surprised when Peter Molyneux left Lionhead, but I learned how to not care. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Peter Molyneux? What the fuck? What the fuck? Listen, I've played Fable 1 and Fable 3. He's I've basically the head of fucking Lionhead. Is, is he the he guy was. who's like, we've mapped every button to one button, or every action to one button? Is he that guy? Because yeah. that guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the entire video, the 20 minute video of him saying, I've made everything easy. I've made every action to one button. You just hit B over and over and over again. I literally just was like, don't you dare say shit about Peter Molyneux. Fuck Peter Molyneux, man. No, no. Push me. <laughs> so I can get, get off of okay, me. Satisfaction. So, uh, they're, no. they're, they're playing to a death cycle. Get off I, I'll continue the podcast. <laughs> no, I will stay. Um, no, you will go. <laughs> I will stay. Go. The, he had a whole list. Okay. Um, don't get the want to be Obama's help. Uh, I don't want to be Obama. I don't know how to get continue off. this, man. No. I, don't, I don't know. Stop. Uh, I'll never let go, like, Jack. No, I'm just there, like, go is there any point to life? Oh, wait. They're done. Okay. Oh, that was enough rough sex for the afternoon. Oh, whoa, God. whoa, what the fuck? I was right here. Yeah, I know you were. What was that? Exactly. No. Uh, he's gay. <laughs> you're I, the, you're I'm the father. father. <laughs> that's that's gay sest. You hurt me. Gay sest. I'm actually, I have ripped skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't use the safe word. I should have fucking used the safe word. There never Today's was a safe, safe word. word's banana. Banana! 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 After what already feels like a lifetime of extraordinary experiences, I have decided to hit the reset button and move on from Bioware. That's like, what's her name? I'll Wait, take why a... would you... No, you don't do reset. Then you'd start everything over. No, but it's You'd like... still be in Bioware! Oh, wait, wait, didn't they... He's leaving Bioware. They fired her, right? The chick from Naughty Dog. Uh, what's Naughty her Dog. name? The, the writer? The director or writer, the writer. something like the that. The writer? The foundation of Remember our that new work, and Montanus. I don't remember her name because I, I didn't follow enough. But she was also... She was either... Oh, pre- okay, so pre-production's already done. Like... I don't care about justice. Justice. Wasn't somebody's dog named Justice? Yeah, that was yeah, that yeah. was an action, action league, league now. now. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. So, but I mean, so pre-production's already good and like everything, but um, ooh, DAI. They talked about DAI. It's putting the final touches that are truly ambitious. Well, anyway, movie. fuck that shit. Well, I don't, I don't care about that. So I drew a picture for our slash war game the other day, and it was this picture where. So I'd been looking for this image. Don't, yeah, you yeah, think, you, don't you think Bioware should do a Game of Thrones game? I think they should. Bioware or... Um, it should be a DLC for uh, for Dragon Age. Game of Thrones edition? Yeah. No, no because they, that's what they did with... Uh, what's it called? With uh, no, like a legit- Battlefield Bad Company 2, right? They made the Vietnam uh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a Bad Company 2 Vietnam. That's basically what they should do with it. It should just be Game of Thrones. I mean... You can get that entire Warband thing where you take you buy Warband and then you do the Game of Thrones mod, which just basically adds Westeros to the game, and you can take over Westeros. Awesome. No, I just want a legitimate Game of Thrones game, you know, like I know, a good one. Yeah, a good one. I mean, Telltale is coming out with one. I know, but that's different. That's they're gonna not give a you a game. That's just like that. They're gonna get. They're, they're gonna give you like a preset background and everything. I want a game like you know an RPG like Bioware would make, or like um, I want one where. It's like the Game of Thrones game, what they were attempting to do with the Game of Thrones game, but good. Get like, them. like George, they should, Bioware should get George R. R. Martin to write the story. Didn't George R. R. Martin yeah, write Yeah, he wrote the, the story, wrote the story the thing is, the first game that, that, that came out, but, it, but the, everything else was shit. The story was the good. Gameplay, everything else was, gameplay shit. was the shit. Everything else or was, was shit. shit, not the shit. <laughs> Two it different, was... completely different meanings. But still the same words. They're both shit. Man, I mean, the story was good. You just I said mean, the story was I'm fine. I'm fine with Telltale. That's not what I'm fine with Telltale making a game for Game of Thrones. But the problem is it's, like, not the game I want. Yeah. It's, like, I know it's going to be good and, it's, you know, it's going to be like that. But it's just, 
that's that's a story based game that's like full story. It's just like you know you talk to people and you do that. I want to enjoy the fighting in Westeros and all that stuff. I'm all walking get, around. Feel like you could travel around Westeros and shit. I want Skyrim of Westeros, like. Like Bethesda, yeah. Bethesda was the other one. Bethesda yeah. or Bioware to make a Game of Thrones game. I don't, I don't feel any, I don't feel it for Bethesda. No. Why? Why after Skyrim? I don't know. They like, did they Skyrim. Have, they, have a, they have a good world. Thing. I don't know. It's like the game's, Game of Thrones. Like no, Game I just want the play. style. I just want the, oh. the, the thing. feeling I think of Bethesda, walking Bethesda around. Bethesda could do the the area part, and then but Bioware can do the story. Like part. I, want, I don't know. It's just it's just like to me. You know how the, the emotes on on character spaces. That's not what I'm talking oh, about. I mean, just the feeling of what. You know, you've walked around Skyrim, right? You yeah. feel the, the world around you. Like, you feel like you're in Skyrim. Yeah. Like, that tone, that set, that's what I want. Just for Westeros. Because I want to walk across the King's Road and just walk all the way down, fucking all the way south or north. Like, that's all I want. God, I would love to see the wall, too. Yeah. and all that junk. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to see the maybe, wall. Maybe visit, like, uh, like I want to uh, visit Dragon Reach. Uh, obviously, King's Landing. High Garden. High Garden? Yeah, because nobody's ever seen High Garden before. The Casterly north. Cock, of course. The North. The North. Yeah, I would anywhere in the north. The time real be. north. <laughs> what you mean, past the wall? Yes. Past oh, okay. The wall. Bravos. Bravos, I would love to see. I would love to see Valeria. Oh wait, doesn't isn't Valeria destroyed though, right? Valeria, yeah, Valeria's been destroyed by the time yeah. Game of starts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, if you if you want a game, I mean, if if you if we want a game that like that is a, a separate from Game of Thrones, but for for but in the setting of it, I would suggest maybe sometime around, maybe. Maybe before Aegon's conquest. Maybe, maybe. The, the fucking revolution in general. The no, you know what I love to do is like is walk walk on the Dothraki Sea. Um, oh, I would yes, love to see yeah. that. That would be beautiful. I don't know. Yeah. But it's, it's like I kind of want it in a way in a way where you get to experience something completely different, and yes, it's so familiar at the same time. You get, you get to fuck Danny. No, shut up, no. But basically, we separate ourselves from the current Game of Thrones. Maybe some set us somewhere to during or maybe. or maybe after. During, I mean, during or after Aegon's conquest, you know? So there's something like that. That would be awesome. Like during the time of, I believe, maybe Aegon, like I think his name was Aegon, not Aegon or something like that. I'm just, the a, after, you said, uh, like that. after you said Daenerys Targaryen, all I'm thinking of how hot she looked in that one dress in uh, fucking, Dude, that episode looks, when she got to, uh, Dude, when she, she got, looks hot. I know, but like, there's <laughs> that, she's wearing that fucking amazing dress in that one scene in, uh, when she takes over, what's it called? What's that place that she stays to rule? Marine. Marine, I think, yeah. right? Like the place where she hangs all those guys for like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Marine. She apparently in the TV show, from what I saw, she didn't feel remorse for that, but in the book, she feels remorse for placing them on the arrows. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's, it has to do with like, she, she like. Uh, I know, no, no, no. I like, understand. I, I understand why she did that, but I'm just saying it's different from the book to the TV show. That's in that scene, but mm -hmm. in the TV show, when she's w going there and she's like, "I want to rule this place." That was the fucking hottest dress I've ever seen she was her wear. I mean, the only time we've seen her breasts was in season one. And she, yeah, basically, in season one, like, three or four times. But mm -hmm. then after that, she, because she's become a legit real character, you don't see her breasts ever. Because that, <laughs> that, that, that's the way of the main characters. You don't really see their breasts. The only breasts you've seen of a main character would be fucking Margaret, right? Marjorie. Marjorie. I call her Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. Margaret. Margaret Tyrell. But that's only because uh, in Code Geass, it's uh, Margaret I don't, I don't Jeremiah. Remember, I don't remember that. I remember that at all. A.K.A. Lord British. Anyway, I don't... Whatever. <laughs> no, okay, so, uh, what's it called? I was at the gym yesterday, and... I don't care. I was... I had forgotten my headphones in my car. I don't care. And I was, had, I was like, fuck it, I guess I'll go to the gym and not listen to music. I still don't care. <laughs> The music that the gym was playing was a song I had known before. I was like, I know this song from somewhere. I don't care. I listened a bit longer. I was like, you're joking, right? No, I don't There's care. There's no way they're playing this song here. Yeah, this song is I like six years old, yep. and it's by somebody nobody cares about. I don't care. Why are you playing the song? It was a Miranda Crosgrove song from I still don't care. four years ago or something like that. Like I was like, what is this bullshit? And I didn't even know what the song was at first. I just know. I was like, I know this song from somewhere. So over the loud drum of the the uh, treadmills going, the bikes being turned, and the stair climber going. I used Shem Shazam, Shamaz. That's what I was going to say, Shamaz. Shazam, to, I held it up to the speakers, and I was like, tell me what song this is. I know this song from somewhere. And I looked down, and it said, Kissing You by Miranda Cosgrove. And I was like, <laughs> fuck me. It's a Miranda Cosgrove song. Like, usually they have pop culture songs, like uh, Miley Cyrus or Katy Perry or Dre or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then they'll play that, and I'm like, I guess that's pop culture. Is that our dad? Sense. It's our dad. Ignore it. Ignore him. Ignore him. Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
He, I don't know. I don't think he's got his headphones, and I don't think he can hear us. I'm gonna keep my headphones. That's it. I do okay. drugs. If he comes up here, I swear. he's not. He Shout doesn't see us. Shout out to uh, Mr. Ayala. From what I've heard about Miranda Cosgrove, all I know is that she looks like the same, even though she's like yeah, yeah, six yeah, years older. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. It's pretty, Apparently I, not. I mean, from what I saw, because when I looked her up, I was like, she she looks older. Like happiness is the truth. <laughs> Fucking cunt. <laughs> There's a guy uh, playing uh, happiness on that song or whatever on his radio. Happy. It's called I know happy. It's called happy. But uh, apparently, you know that guy's 40 years old, right? Pharrell? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Who cares? He looks young as dicks. Who cares? So, oh, my God. So I don't give a fuck about Pharrell Williams. All celebrities do. Yeah, a lot of celebrities do. I mean, really. So celebrities will look dirty and they could be 60. Forward. You know Maisie Williams is 17. Yeah, I know that. And she looks like she's 12. Yeah. So it's not a surprise that some That's, people can look young. That's strangely insulting. Oh, it's weird. It's like... It's weird. No, no, because I couldn't no, see her as a child. Williams is Arya on Game of Thrones. Yeah, I could not see her as anything but a Arya child, and I thought she was actually like 14, and then I learned she's 17. She does look 14. And I'm like, you are a woman. It's probably because she still has short what? hair. What? No, no, it's probably because she still has short hair, and um, whatever her, she, she wears. Has a, she has a kid face, dude. Yeah, and she, she has, has a baby kid face. face. She has a baby face. Dude, and I'm like, you were a kid when I knew you, and now you're a woman. I don't know how to feel about this. Am I attracted to you now? So confused. Because <laughs> like, because the thing is, she has what I like in a girl: brown hair and blue eyes. And I'm like, I like that, but you still make me feel like you're a child. But you're a woman. Confused she's, boner. She killed like six people on that show. That doesn't make her a woman on the show. It makes her a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Two completely different things. Obviously. Exactly. Being a killer is gender neutral. She's a lady killer. <laughs> she's a killer queen. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying over here. What the heck? Best joke. 10 out of 10 would laugh again. <laughs> but yeah, that's just like the weirdest thing. So, ever. back to my picture that I drew on Wargame. You know I was no. looking for like two weeks for this picture of uh, airplanes when they go through smoke. Because when, when that happens, you see the mm. smoke turns into like curls. Yeah. I was looking for like. Yeah, yeah. I was looking for an image like that so I could get in, the, in like in my head like what it looks like. Did you I looked for like two hours. I was just like uh, from two weeks to two hours. So I looked for two hours and I was like, I can't find this. Whatever. I'll do it from, draw it from my memory. So I post a picture on r slash wargame and somebody's like, you should draw it like, uh, you should. You should have more curls like this. And then he sends me the picture I was looking for for like two hours. I was like, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> No, you said like this, and then this. You said like this. Again, we should probably refrain from doing that because no one's gonna understand when we're doing this. Nobody cares. Damn it! Water punched me in the face. Wait, say that again. Water punched me in the face. Only be taking out to dinner. I uh, I was swimming, and when when I came up for air, I let air out of my mouth really early. Before, like, I was above water. And what happened was the water came out as a bubble, or the air came out as a bubble and punched me in the face. Like, it came out and then it splashed into me. You know when you spit and, like, you're driving and you spit oh, out the God. window and it hits you back in the face? I know you have a story to tell because of that. Um, so what happened was... I do? Yeah. Don't, you, you told me that once, right? Like, you got hit in the face with spit, right? Wasn't like, what, are you with your own spit? You were, like, out the window and you, you got hit in the face with, like... <laughs> no, wasn't that Austin with the hand sanitizer? No, that was that was earlier he had a story before like he said that was that triggered his story he told me that story he he's trying yeah, he's, he's trying he's, to hold it away he's, he's turning away and not talking but i he, don't know what you're talking i'm trying to think you absolutely told me that you absolutely told me that once i'm not i'm not joking you've told me that story but once where you got hit in the face with your own spit because you spit out the window and the wind hit you back in the face so no water the did the same thing to me. About. I have no idea the water did the same thing to me because what happened was i i blurted out all of my air before i you know, came up for air, and all the air came into a bubble, and it just smashed me right in the face. And my nose was like, Bob. Wait, wouldn't it be more like the air hit you in the face, then? Yeah, but the water was around Fucking there. take off your turn signal, asshole. You're not going No, it's just warning oh. lights. Okay, I was about to say. Because all I saw was one light in the front, so I was like, oh my god, you're an asshole. I'm just waiting for it to get to flick you off right now. That was a woman. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know. I didn't know. But what happened was, <laughs> it hit me in the face, and it hit me in the nose, so I couldn't breathe. Like, I was like, my, my I was just like, trying to move my head all around. I was like, Fuck. <laughs> and then I died. Oh, wait. Then how are you here, Joseph? I think we're being haunted by a ghost. 
Three, a ghost that can drive. Three spooky five me. <laughs> God oh damn. God. So bad though. My sister got money the other day. Damn. Oh my god. She got, she Fucking got, stop the presses. She got money. Oh she my got god. Like 20 bucks from uh, one of our aunts or uncles or something like that. G, motherfucking G. Nah, I have no idea what to do my life. And she was like, oh man, that's so cool. I got 20 bucks. And I was like, cool. Uh, you should spend it for other stuff. And she was like, yeah, I will later. I'll come up with something to spend it on. I'm like, cool. Okay, so next day she comes back. She's like, I was like, what, what happened to your 20? I think I have an idea of what we can do with it. And she was like, oh, I gave it to my friend. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I stopped. I was like, you gave $20 to a 14-year-old or something. Like, just... I. She was like, oh, yeah. She was like, oh, no, I really need $20 and something like that. And I was like, okay, here, you can have mine. And I'm like, I understand niceness, but at 14, everybody's a bitch. Like, everybody wants your money. Everybody's, everybody wants something. No, every, no, everybody's more an idiot. Everybody wants what you have at 14. So it's just it's because like, oh, you have a PlayStation Four. Let me take that away from basically. you. Basically, so I just like although at, back then it was more PlayStation. Yeah, two, PlayStation anyway. Two games and stuff like that. So she hands her the twenty. I'm like, fuck. You really gave twenty dollars to just your friend, like that. You know, you know they don't really care, like that you're giving it to them. They're not going to remember this. You're probably you're, you know, I I was just mad. Just wanted to say I, I'm fucking pissed off. She did that. Yeah, I know, but it's just I'm looking at this and I'm like, why? You know Pierce Brosnan's still alive. No, he's fuck! <laughs> Why the fuck don't you care? <laughs> Someone take a picture of me so I can use this later. <laughs> so, you know Pierce Brosnan's so still alive? Wait up. I, I just want to comment how stupid he looks right now. <laughs> Alright, got it. <laughs> I hate all of you. But again. <laughs> he looks like... It's, uh, for some reason, I'm thinking like like a, a, a robber who, who couldn't just pull the hat over his over his whole face. He forgot to pull eye holes in his in his freaking eyes. Like mask. a dumber, dumber joke. <laughs> and, right, then he, right and I keep imagining he's like, all right, I mean, he's like freaking SpongeBob when he puts the sock <laughs> over his head. <laughs> well, what's what's the line from that? It's like he like give he's like, all right, give us the money, do it, put the money in the bag. He's like, he's like oh, we're over here, sir. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, put the money in the bag, do it. I don't. That so sounds. Would you, would you like an open account for che for checking or like savings or whatever? He's like, uh, like savings. SpongeBob jokes are funnier outside of SpongeBob than they are when you watch SpongeBob. What? When you watch actual SpongeBob and you watch like the, the jokes that they make, <laughs> the they're funnier checks, outside. The checks with cute little kittens on them. This this is your wallet, right? That's not my wallet. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I just saw you drop this wallet. That's not my wallet. He's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, this fell out of your pocket, and. This, so this must be your wallet. It's that's not my wallet. <laughs> he's like, okay. He's like, let's let's follow this. Okay, this fell out of your pants. Yes. He's like, you're missing a wallet. Yeah. He's like, and if I open this up, I see an ID in here. Your name is Patrick Star. Yes. Is the same name as this wallet? Yeah, that sounds about right. So by following that logic, this must be your wallet. Yeah, that makes sense. So then, take your wallet. It's not my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that entire line. Pierce Brosnan. Still alive. Who who is Pierce Brosnan again? James Bond. Mm. For uh, Die Another Day. Yeah, I just I just got that. He's still alive. He has to I die another day. I thought he died. I thought he died. He's supposed to die another day. You listen, fuck. listen. I seriously remember watching a, a ra or listening to a radio thing or something like that, and thinking, hearing like Pierce, Pierce Brosnan's dead or something like that, like something about that. He's still alive. And yesterday I watched a movie trailer that he's in. And I'm like, I thought you died. <laughs> I haven't seen anything you've been in for like. 12 years. What the f... God damn it. <laughs> so, so is the, it like the world the, lies to you? The world, the lies world to you. just flipped for me. I love Pierce Brosnan. It's amazing. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck. Would you have his children? I've missed so many things about him. Would you have his adopted have babies? His, I, would have his, uh, I would have his unlegitimate you, babies. You adopted have, babies. You would have his gay children. You would have his adopted ch babies. God yeah. damn it. Fucking home. <laughs> Fucking home. Well, we should finish this up. Uh, damn. Yeah, okay. This is an okay podcast. It was okay. Uh, too many cars, but for my taste. Hmm. Did you Whatever. did you ever taste a car? Like what? I mean, there was a guy who married a car, right? Dude, there's a guy who fucked a car. And married a car. There's a guy, there's a dragon that humped a car. There's a woman who married a dolphin. There's I'm not this, kidding about that. Too. There's a man who married a bird. Gravity Falls. <laughs> <laughs> it was like oh bestiality. Like, so many. It's, it's like a, kids will un wouldn't understand the the, the the terribleness of that. No, they won't. But they will understand. Oh, wait, no, they won't understand this either. People freaking died on that show. I know. People Is have someone died. using the bathroom?
Is there a bathroom in it? Now I feel bad. Why do you Because we were bad? next to a bathroom the whole time. That, that makes me feel dirty. <laughs> it makes you feel dirty? Makes me feel you know, dirty. I was watching this... Uh, I, I love watching March of the Juggalos. Like, just it's so fun to watch. Just people why, go, go why people that, go there. Why is that? It's thing? so fun to watch people go there and do interviews of Juggalos. And I love watching that type Isn't of stuff. Juggalos? No, it's Juggalos. J U. The fuck is a Juggalo? It's Juggalo, not Juggalo. Juggalo. No, what the fuck is a Juggalo? I don't know what a Juggalo. Because he's saying it's a legitimate word. I don't remember ever hearing about a Juggalo. What the fuck is a Juggalo? Uh, oh. Insane uh, clown. Oh. Policy. What? Insane Clown Posse, Juggalos. Those, those idiots. Oh. Okay. And it's called the March of the Juggalos, where Juggalos just camp for like... It's like Woodstock for Juggalos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining a whole bunch of people. No, that's, that's what it is. I'm not lying. That's basically what it is. Yeah, God man. God damn it. All right, hold on. So what happened is... Okay. I think so, we're going to die. I think yeah, we should end it here. We, no, no, hold on, hold on. Let me finish the story and then we'll end it. So what happens is it's it's literally this guy who's talking. He's like, I've been to every – it's like a family. Well, I've been to every Juggalo meeting except two because I got incarcerated. <laughs> and that was the best line. I was like, that's basically what a Juggalo is. Okay. So – no. Uh, so basically we have a subreddit, Red Table Production. What, 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 red Table Production. We have External Ball. R slash External Ball. Um, slash red we, table. we have nothing else. Uh, we have <laughs> stories. We want you guys to send in yeah. funny stories of things that happened to you to us at – External bulb at gmail.com. No more uh, scrolls though, because I swear they're hunting us now. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'll stop it when I want.